Hey, it's Chess79. I've done a tutorial today on one of the builds that I've been asked quite a lot to do a tutorial on, which is the luxury lake house. I've done mine just at the back of Riverside Manor, just where the lake is. This is probably the seventh time I've done this recording now, so if I make any mistakes, it's tough. Don't laugh. Anyway, in the original build, there was a lot of fireplaces and I, I didn't know how to do any other way than the fireplace merge where you merge the fireplaces into the foundations lining them up every time there was one key you have to redo the whole thing and it took hours and then I was on YouTube the other day and I found a blueprint on Moonlight Cowboys channel and it's brilliant it saved so much time well not that much time because we've still got 73 minutes but um, if you go and check that out before you start, that's going to make it so much easier for you. All I'm doing here is putting the foundations down for the shape of the build. This foundation at the front with the pattern on, that's where the door's going to be. Um, I just put it there so I could remember where everything was. The first time I, I rebuilt it, I built it too far back and I couldn't finish the end of it, so... This bit is quite important lowering that foundation there because the blueprint for some reason it leaves a gap underneath so it looks like it's floating slightly so if you just lower the foundation just that bit put, when you put the blueprint on it and you burn it you can lift it back up and it looks like it's on the floor rather than floating so it's quite important to do that before you start doing your blueprints All I'm doing now is changing the foundation to the black and white checkered one. This is going to make it a lot easier to line up your blueprint fireplace. If you want to change the ones around it, I, I do do it eventually. Um, it just makes it so much easier to line them up and get them perfect first time. Yeah, you need to make sure that the front of the fireplace is lined up the first tiled square in it. Yeah, this is Jess. She's She's in a lot of my YouTube videos. She helps me to do the videos and stuff. So if you keep hearing a chirping. Giving my unsolicited advice. Um, it's JJMCG53 on Fallout. If you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you burn it as well, it just helps to line up the fireplaces. For some reason, they won't go together unless the they've been destroyed and you don't have to repair it now I'm just doing it just to see if they've gone together flush when the video's done I'm going to be a bit of a guinea pig and see how easy the build is to see whether we should do more in the future and I say we but it's you <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, I mean I'm hoping it's going to be quite easy to follow just off watching it Um, I don't really know obviously if it's going to be easy to follow it's quite a complicated build anyway which is why it took so long to do but we'll see we'll, we'll see what happens when um, it's finished to be honest I, I was just winging it myself I, I forgot how I did it in the first place so it took quite a while to figure things out again this was the second attempt at rebuilding it
Yeah, if it's red as well, sometimes I got confused when I was building previously. If it's red, sometimes it'll still let you place it down, so if, don't in this get discouraged. Case, yeah. In this case, it does, yeah. This bit's quite important, actually. If you put the fireplace extension on now, it saves time. When, when I tried doing the roof and putting the walls on later, I had to burn it all and do it all again. So you're best just doing that, doing that now, yeah. And yeah, I, f I forgot about that. Because I put them on after when I burnt the bottom. The tops was already there. So you just have to make a way to get up there and burn them. A lot of it's trial and error, isn't it? I've yeah. done it before where I've built for hours and then something's gone wrong and it's destroyed the entire thing so I've not put something in place before. Yeah, then. that happens plenty of times. I'm hoping if the tutorial is quite easy to follow, that the next one that I do, I'll be able to simplify it. I think the the problem is I've started out with a, quite a complicated build anyway. I would like to test it out, see whether I can actually build it as well, and if it, if it looks as good as yours. I'm, I'm just glad that I was able to recreate it. I was quite worried that I wouldn't be able to do it again. Or be able to do it in a way that I'd be able to show people how to do it. Um, this bit here as well, this is an actual fireplace, not the blueprint. And I, I only use that because on the original there's a really low part of the brick and you can't merge the blueprint. You can't, the blueprint doesn't go on the floor properly so you can't merge it so you, I had to use a fireplace here and on the other side at the same place and this is also important when you're merging it you have to make sure that your foundation is perfectly straight against it if it moves slightly or comes forward the fireplace will go with it and you'll have to restart again which I did about four times. I've done it so many times and I've done that and it's yeah. turned it sideways or diagonal I've had to start all over again. Yeah, so you've got to be really careful and make sure you keep it straight. I think this was the edited bit, that's why it's fitted, it's gone straight in perfect. can't believe we're already only eight minutes into it. <laughs> We've still got an hour. It's going to be a lot of fun with just talking rubbish. Yep. Again, the foundations that I'm lowering is simply just because the blueprint won't go onto the floor. So when you lift it back up, it looks like it's on the blueprint, uh, on the foundation, sorry. So it's quite important not to forget to lower that. It looks quite crazy at the minute, but it'll all make sense. Yeah. I build quite blindly anyway. I, I build, I burn everything, and I don't repair it to the end. So when I'm building anything, this is what it looks like. Everything should burn. And then at the end, I'll repair all, and it'll start to make sense. Again, just put your extension on top so you don't have to do it after. I think I actually repaired all this at the end anyway, just to see, make sure that I've got all the fireplaces there. This is another actual fireplace as well, not the um, blueprint. Just for this side, so we can get it really low. Yeah, it's probably a good idea, isn't it, beforehand to make a few of the blueprints of the fireplace? Well, um, at the beginning of the video, told them to go over to Moonlight Cowboy, that's where I got the blueprint oh, wow, from. Okay. Yeah, if you go over to oh, his channel, cool. you can copy the blueprint and it really makes it makes it so much easier. All this that I've already done on my original build, these fireplaces that I'm using now, I had to line them all up. Mm. It took ages. 
do the foundation merge, then I had trouble getting the foundations back. It was a nightmare. This time, I couldn't believe how easy it is with that blueprint. It oh, really is a good. brilliant... It's really good. Yeah, a lot of the building seems like it can be really tedious, but obviously the results are really good, so it's worth it. It's definitely worth it if you've got the patience to do it. Yeah. And I think once you start to learn all the different tricks and stuff like that, it makes it so much better. Like, I just bought another camp slot so I can do mm -hmm. another build, because it's enjoyable when you know what you're doing. Yeah. See, a lot, of, a lot of people, when they come over and they, they see me build, they don't understand, like, the way I do it, because everything's just burnt and I don't know. Just pure chaos. Yeah, but to me, it makes sense. So that's what I'm hoping that in this video... It's easy to follow. Okay, I start to see the vision now. You're starting to see it, but it's still... Yeah. It's not still quite there, yeah. It'll, st it'll make sense in a minute when I repair everything. This bit that I'm doing now is for like the garage bit at the side. It's not a garage, but it looks like a garage. I think it would have been so much easier to do it at White Springs or somewhere where it's flat. Yeah, if you don't realise the ground's uneven, it, it knocks things off slightly, doesn't it? It's not just that, it's if you don't place it right you can't fit the whole build on mm -hmm. it's, it's on a hill so when yeah. you get over to the other side your foundations won't go down mm -hmm. so yeah it's uh, it definitely you've got to be careful where you put it down and you get attacked by the scorched at the back there where the lake is Make sure they don't end up breaking what you build and what you're doing it. Very well. well. To be honest, the, when you go to the back of the build, that's when they start attacking you. Well, let me just stay at the front. I've been a build near the uh, railway in Wapoga, um, and multiple times I was building, and I had a death cloth one kill me. It was so frustrating. Oh, I, I avoid it. I like the white springs because it's protected. And the beach, actually, at the um, Summersville, mm. near Nougat. As long as you don't go too close to the supermutants, it's quite a good place to build. You don't really get bothered by anything. I was trying to find a new place to build, so this can be my fourth camp slot, you know, to see like like how easy yeah. the build is to do. I mean, it. you don't have to build it here. I, I built it here just because I like the lake at the back, but this would go. There's loads of lakes, isn't there? You could mm -hmm. literally build it anywhere. So what I'm doing now is the roof and I use the catwalk just to push it out slightly so the roof is overlapping so it's not you know flush to the wall um, but if you haven't got a catwalk all, all you need to do is move the foundation it can be a bit tricky and it, this just makes it more it makes it perfect rather than you know having to move your foundation out slightly and but yeah, it, it, either way, if you haven't got a catwalk, you can just move it out. It's not it's not essential. Oh, so it's got like a tiny bit of a veranda type thing. Yeah, so at the back now, so I burn that, and then at the back, that's where you're going to put your roof. If you use the catwalk, both the roofs will be perfect. If you do, if you're moving the foundation on your own, it's quite difficult to get them to go flush. So that, that's the only reason why it's better, but you don't need a catwalk, you can do it without it. It's just a bit more effort, just makes it easier having the catwalk. So when I put this down, well, I don't think I do until the end, but <laughs> you'll see what I mean, it's it's flat. Um, this bit now is for the pointed bit of the roof, which was in the centre of the house. So if you just use the half catwalk to move your foundations, you'll be able to get it in the centre. Now I'm watching it, it just looks so messy with all the foundations everywhere, but I, I suppose you can just 
stop. The, the thing is, it is, it can be intimidating looking, like, and I, I know I'm going to attempt to build it after this. It does look intimidating, but it's that you, you can't go wrong if you fall in No, and you can, you can pause video. it. You can check where everything is. You can exactly. rewind it. You know, so it, it should be it should be okay to follow. Yeah. Yeah, you've done it exactly step by step, and you've got. Well, I'm hoping that if it does well, um, mm. I'll do another tutorial. They've, I've got a a lot of questions on the Sukasa modern house, but I don't even remember how I built it. Is that the one with the stairs? Yeah. My no, favorite. no, it's the um, it's the one with like the wood at the front, and it's oh, the, oh. it's the it's the modern one, yeah. It's on I, the I beach. Get, no, I'll show you know. I get a lot of a lot of people asking to do a tutorial on it, but I honestly don't even know if I'd be able to. Mine was the uh, my favorite was the Spanish type one with the oh the villa um, the villa yeah with the spiraling stairs going up. That was so beautiful. That's the Sukasa. Oh, yeah, I remember which one. Yeah. I mean, if this does well, I'll attempt to do a tutorial on that. Let's see what happens. And correct me if I'm wrong, does the type of wall you're using there matter? The type no, the not, at this, not at this point, no. At this point, I'm just using anything just to get the, um, the roof done. Because once that you can't... You need to do the roof before you do the walls. It's always the most important bit to do the roof. Especially because I tend to make my roof slightly lower than normal. As you can see there, so if you do the roof first and burn it, it'll allow you to put the wall through. But if you do the wall first, you can't get a roof down. This looks so chaotic. <laughs> it, it does look chaotic, but you know, if you're following it, mm. it's it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too hard. I think the hardest bit is because I like to have that little that little edge going over. Yeah. So you you, you know you burn this now and then it'll go flush against the other side. Yay, we're 17 minutes into it now. <laughs> 50 minutes to go. <laughs> oh, we might be a little bit more into it though, because the first clip, this has been one like long continuous yeah. recording, hasn't it? So I think we're actually a little bit further in. Not by much, but a couple minutes at least. Well, this is your fault, because I was just going to be silent and only chirping when I needed That's to. That's so awkward though. But you're seeing it's awkward. It so. is. If they get listen, if they get bored of our voices, they can mute it. But it's awkward <laughs> unless you're okay. going to put some like elevator music <laughs> over the silences. I might put some music over anyway. <laughs> over our voices as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So see how you've got the so it's it's slightly hanging over now. I just think it's a it looks better than having the roof flush. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm just trying to attempt to get that there to burn the last two roof. I think that's the hardest bit, getting mm -hmm. the getting the roof to go onto the other piece without it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, in all my videos, that's the worst part. Trying to get the trying to get them to connect, mm -hmm. they just don't like going together. You do the decorating inside as well in this video, or is, it, or is it just the foundations? Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you, for seventy-three minutes? But no, it's it's just the build. Yeah, but then people can decorate I'm gonna, however they want, can't they? Inside. I was gonna video decorating it in mm -hmm. case people wanted to see it, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> I might attempt that. It'd be like four hours long, then, wouldn't I? Know. <laughs> 
that's the problem. I need to figure out how to make the video shorter but without losing content that I need. Yeah. But I, I spend a lot of time messing about like this, finding mm -hmm. the right, you yeah. know. This is the roof now, so again, I'm using the catwalk there just to push it out slightly so it overlaps the wall when you put it when you put it back to normal. It didn't seem this long when I was building it. <laughs> Never does, does it? Yeah, I've been trying trying to find places that I want to do another build. <clears throat> but I just didn't know where where to go, but this is a nice spot. It is. I mean you you don't you get mithered by the, the scorched, but apart from that it's quite quiet. And it's only if you go at the back of the house. Stay out your yeah. garden and they won't bother you. <laughs> Stay to my own side of the lake. Exactly. And you'll be fine. Yeah, the first time I, I did this little bit that I'm doing now with the roof here, I couldn't figure it out why the roof wasn't flush with the other one mm -hmm. at the front. And it's because, I, I think because we're chatting, I've missed it, but I did, I did show it on the video. If you lift the foundation up again, just while you do that back bit, mm -hmm. instead of leaving it down... You see how I've lifted it up? Mm -hmm. The first time I did it, I forgot and I left it down and it wouldn't match up. So I'm putting them back down again mm -hmm. now. It's just so the roof at the back would match with the other one. Mm -hmm. You see how it goes? I mean, it's mm -hmm. slightly, a tiny bit, but... It makes a difference though, doesn't it, when you build fully done? Oh, having that little overhang bit, yeah, mm -hmm. makes it look more realistic. Yeah. I think once the front of the house is done, that's the that's the hardest bit out of the way. Mm -hmm. The rest of it's not too bad. I think I'm getting a knack for this talking thing. Should we start a podcast? <laughs> We're talking about Fallout news. The thing is, we might, we might be okay. I know we're going to listen to it back and hate I'm it. Gonna, I'm going to look at my subscribers and they're just going to start going down and down and down. <laughs> trying, to, trying to get the subscribers in, not lose them. <laughs> I think we're really entertaining. I am biased, but... Right, so this bit now is... At the top of the roof, there's like a little room sticking out mm -hmm. so this is how you do that little bit at the top so it's not it's not too difficult it's just um as long as you burn the little half walls at the top mm -hmm. it'll allow you to move the bottom foundation but j again it just you know it's just a something that makes it look a bit more realistic having mm -hmm. the little window at the top Gives it a bit more character. People are going to regret asking for a tutorial on this. <laughs> I know. They probably won't ask for any more. <laughs> Might be the last one that I do. <laughs> this is another tip as well. I don't know if you've actually got them because you don't buy things in the atomic shop, do you, that often? Mm -hmm. But the army base half wall, if you use that, you can literally, it, it, the game doesn't recognise that it's been deleted and it'll let you, like, it's been destroyed. So it'll let you build anything through it. Oh, right. So at one point, I think it's further on near the end, I changed them to that army base wall because I can't remember why. Because it was low, it wouldn't let me put the walls in. Mm -hmm. As soon as I change it to that, it's fine. So if you ever get stuck yeah. and... You need to build, you know, a wall that you need to go through or you need to build something at the side of it. Them army base walls are yeah. brilliant. Well, that's why I asked before if you're using a specific wall to do this because I, I remember when you showed me how to do the double walls, you can only really do that with the brick or with the barn walls that you're using now. So I, I was just 
double checking whether it's specific like not 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 particularly i mean the red barn walls are brilliant for doing your double walls mm -hmm. and also the the new one i forget what it, the casino wall i think it's called um that's that's a pretty good one i mean to be fair you can probably use quite a lot of the the walls to do the double-sided walls now but that army base wall is just brilliant for doing it doesn't recognize when you've destroyed mm. it so you can literally you can put glass through it you can do anything with it it's, yeah. it's a great wall and the the roof that i'm using here as well i think it's the ranch roof set i get asked a lot as well um what set that was mm -hmm. from I think it's the only wall, the only roof that we've got that looks like a ceiling. Yeah, it looks really clean as well. It does, Especially yeah. Especially for your modern yeah. buildings and stuff like that, it fits in nicely. So yeah, I think now that that's done, it's just placing the walls at the front. We're getting there, mm -hmm. we're getting there, that's, that's not too long to go now. Are you going to be intrigued to see how we decorate it inside? I am. I'm going to be. Uh, we'll I'm going to be video. looking forward to seeing you actually build it. I reckon I'll be able to do it. I, I, yeah, not easy, be, but I'll be. You'll able to definitely do it. be able to do it. I mean, I'm hoping that this tutorial's simple enough, you know, to be able to follow. No, it is. I mean, as, see, long, look, as long as you watch what you're doing. This is what I was telling you about. So it won't, it won't let the see. Yeah. It won't let it do it. But as soon as you change that to the army base wall. The game doesn't recognise it's there, and you'll be able to build through it. I just hope they don't fix it in the next update. <laughs> well, I know, I know that some people don't like um, merging in builds, but it's such, it's such a good hack. <laughs> it's such a good tool to be able to build whatever you want that I, I don't know why people wouldn't want to use it no I, I, it just makes it makes you can do things you can change a, the look of a building if nobody merged or nobody did anything yeah. different everything would look the same and it looks it's so much more enjoyable you can actually put so much creativity and your own personality into the building uh, exactly exactly yeah. whereas I remember when I first started Fallout um, I don't even remember my first ever building was atrocious um, <laughs> <laughs> but I was trying to trying to build stuff and it just wouldn't let me do anything. It wouldn't let me add a wall in a certain place because of the limitations of the game. So with merging now, I love... That's one of the main reasons I still play Fallout, to build. Yeah, yeah. It makes it more exciting. Yeah. And you can you can go on Google or YouTube. You can go on anywhere. Yeah, I see what you mean about yeah, it now Yeah, it'll working. go right through, yeah, without a problem. Oh, that's good. It's just... It's brilliant because before that wall, there's no other... Wall or half wall that you could do it with. I'd have had to restart again. Yeah. But that it's, it works brilliant. The full wall, the half wall. Yeah, it's great. You can do loads with it. Yeah. So you burn this now, and then you use the abandoned mine wall to get your you know crisscross look, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. And I think the front of the house is coming along now. Yeah, see, so it'll let you place them through through that. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you don't see it till the end because I don't repair anything till the end, but that's going to be the little side bit of the mm -hmm. house. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, it's and then obviously you'll change that to glass oh, when you repair perfect. it all at the end. Yeah, I can see the vision now. Kind of. It's a trust the process, isn't it? It is, it is. <laughs> so you get to add the end. Well, you'll be happy to know the last, I think, 13 minutes of the video is me just repairing everything and. Mm -hmm picking the walls that I want and putting the wallpaper on so you do get to see the finished mm -hmm. thing at the end. Just not decorated but I, I will get round to doing that and I probably will do another video. I 
I still think you need to rebuild your Halloween town and put a video of that. That's one of my favourites. Yeah, I'm, I've just got a lot of things that I want to build though. I like, I think I'll do this and then I don't get round to it and mm -hmm. then. I suppose there's quite a lot that I want to do. Yeah, so the first time I forgot to put, so in that little bit that we've just built, the roof is sloping mm -hmm. and you need a flat roof underneath. Mm -hmm. If I'd have done the flat roof now, at this point, it probably would have been easy. But I don't realise until later on in the video. <laughs> so it really Which is not, trial and error. Yeah, I mean, it's not a problem, but, you know, if you want to put your roof there now, it'll make it easier for you. Mm -hmm. But then it might make it confusing, actually, because I, I do it later on. Mm -hmm. funny because looking at it now it just looks mm -hmm. you can't tell can you <coughs> i can finally see some of the vision now though now i can actually can see, see it from yeah. yeah and that lifting that up now remember mm -hmm. we lowered it at the beginning yeah lifting it up now you can see the blueprint is flush with the floor Whereas before, you had a little gap there, which is why it's been important to lower it before you start placing any of the blueprints down. Are you doing your double walls here as well, so you can choose the wallpaper on the outside of the build too? Yeah, I always do double walls. Yeah. Unless I'm going for a brick look or, mm -hmm. you know, I'll use one of the, the ones that are already like that, but the majority of the time I'll use double walls so I can pick and choose what I like on the outside. Mm -hmm. trying to remember what I'm doing there. <laughs> you know, um, one trick that I haven't tried yet, and I really want you to show me how to do it, the yeah. um, merging junk. Is it with the clock, the new clock that's coming or something? No, it's the chessboard. The chessboard, that's yeah, it. I haven't, I haven't done any of that yet. It's, it's but I went it, round yeah. collecting clean stuff so I could do it. Yeah, but I just, yeah. I haven't had a chance to ask you about it or look it up online. Yeah, it's, it's quite simple. You just place it on it merge it is that it put it wherever you want yeah it's brilliant that's it's really board. good it's really good yeah so this bit now it doesn't really matter about a half wall but i had a little window at the top and then that obviously that side is full wall so i don't know why i placed the half walls there mm -hmm. See, that's a part that should have been edited and it wasn't. First Probably time, why it's first still time we've done it. Well, <laughs> next one will be better. Definitely. I might not be here for that one, so you won't have to have my unsolicited advice throughout. <laughs> well, if I can make the video shorter next time, I'll, I'll just write the uh, captions down. <laughs> Right as a script I won't to say. Sit here for an hour thinking of things to say when you could just watch it and <laughs> probably do it easier. Like you said though, they can just mute us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the double wall there. I think I wanted to put a window, but because the slope comes out, it just looks a little bit awkward. Mm -hmm. So I think I've just left it. <laughs> Plain, which is why the window's yeah. there at the top. I don't know why I did the middle one because it's actually at the top. Is there any reason you're doing doorways and not windows? Oh, oh, it's so you can do the double wall. Just so, it? yeah, so I can do the double wall and so that I can move the, move, you know, move the foundations and mm -hmm. stuff. If, if it's a full wall, it won't let me move it. I did do a window there, but I, I didn't keep it. I don't like the windows. But it really does take ages, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it is a lot of work, but when you've got your build looks, that you want, you can keep the build It looks forever. really, yeah, and it looks really good at the end. 
and if you get bored of the decorating inside you can redo it just keep the foundation oh no there. that's that's my best bit i love doing the decorating i think this is the tedious bit trying to get the actual building done as soon as i've done the building that's my favorite time mm -hmm. to start decorating So yeah, I'm just doing the roof across the top now. I'd love to live in a house like this. <laughs> I won't even mind if it was in Appalachia. I need to fight ghouls every day. Right where the scorched are. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out why I've stopped now and what I'm looking at. Oh, for the, the roof at the top, yeah. So I'll use the catwalk again. Again, so I can get that roof at the top with the same overhang as the rest of it, so it all matches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I think I'll have to go up there and burn all them in a minute. And mm -hmm. It's quite simple though, really. It's just... There's a lot of steps involved and that's where it can get potentially confusing. But, like you said, you 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 follow it, you pause it when you need to, you yeah. go back. Yeah. But just make sure you do exactly what is in the tutorial because the slightest thing that you don't do... Well, this is why I was, trying to, of it. I was trying to make it easy. Mm -hmm. to follow but obviously no, I just jumped straight through the <laughs> roof and I didn't realise it was burned I thinking that then I didn't edit that either <laughs> yeah we probably should have oh took God. that bit out <laughs> well it's done now <laughs> and and that you, I it, it really stresses me out when the roof isn't perfect so if it's if it's not the right way which is why you don't have to change it. Mm -hmm. I just changed it because, yeah, I can't deal with it being, you know, one that way, one that way. You have to be, they have to all go the same way. Especially with my floors as well, because certain patterns, if you don't uh, do them the well, right way, yeah. the patterns don't line up right, do they? I mean, this though, what go, what is going on with these? They, they never connect. Take forever <laughs> to connect. Yeah, the foundations, that's why I always use the wood, even if I'm going to use the concrete. And I always have them facing the same way. Because there's nothing worse yeah. than doing a really complicated build. Getting to doing the floor, realising that your foundations are different directions and you can't move them yeah. because you've done a merge or you've done something that yeah. you don't want to destroy. I did that and I was at the very end of my build. I'd done it, it took me hours and hours. And then I had to, like what I said before, I had to scrap the full thing because I'd messed it up. Yeah, it's you just got to have everything the right way when you first start. This was a bit of a nightmare as well, getting the roof on there because that piece that I've put down is facing the other way. Yeah. I do do it eventually, but I think there definitely is a problem with the roofs connecting. Mm -hmm. Unless it's just me. I think 20 minutes of the video is just trying to connect the roofs. <laughs> oh, well, you managed to see. See, look it. at it. Not yet. Yeah, I, st I still. I think it's still, um, a little while yet before I get it to connect. I think I lift it up. Oh, because it's connecting. Slant it. Yeah, yeah, it's not connected to the roof, is it? It's connecting to the wall. I think I finally do it now. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> So that might take a little bit of faffing about. 